Gaya ni EJ Obiena, isang career year din ang taong 2022 para sa 17-year-old tennis star na si Alex Iala. Maliban sa pagiging unang Pilipino na nanalo ng isang Grand Slam Junior Singles title sa kasaysayan, naging makabuluhan din ang taong ito pagdating sa kanyang professional career nang maabot niya ang bagong career best niyang 248th place sa Women's Tennis Association o WTA Rankings. Unang buwan pa lang ng taon ay magandang balita na agad ang sumalubong sa Rafa Nadal Academy Scholar na si Alex Iala. Mula sa 10th spot, tumaas ang 17-year-old tennis star sa 8th place ng International Tennis Federation Junior Rankings. Mas mababa lamang ito ng ilang spots sa second place career high ni Iala sa ITF Junior Rankings noong 2020. Gayon pa man, nag-focus na si Iyala sa Women's Tennis Association Tournaments bilang paghahanda sa kanyang paglipat sa elite division. Dito, nag-ambag si Iyala ng tatlong bronze medal para sa bansa mula sa Women's Single, Team Event at Mixed Team. Pero kahit na unti-unti nang lumilipat sa WTA tournaments, patuloy pa rin ang paglaban ni Iyala sa Junior Grand Slam tournaments. Sa katunayan nga ay tatlong Grand Slam titles na ngayon ang kanyang hawak. Ang ikatlo at masasabing pinaka-espesyal sa lahat ay nagmula sa 2022 US Open Junior Singles Championships noong Setyembre sa New York, USA. Tinalo ni Iyala ang nooy number 2 seed na si Lucy Havlikova ng Czech Republic 6264. 6-4. Dahil dito, si Iyala ang kauna-unahang Pinoy tennis player na nagwagi ng junior singles title. It's very overwhelming right now, um, but I think this is a huge step um, for me personally as well. Um, And, you know, I'm super happy to represent my country and do something of, you know, worth, you know, <laughs> with a big fat platform and, you know, being able to inspire other younger people. Ako, I'm confident with Alex because she has the power. My power is in the double I'm very confident that Alex is motivated. Ani Iyala ang naturang panalo ang pumawi sa mga setback na naranasan niya gaya ng injuries. I think I've I've come to learn that there's always going to be hard times and you just need to wait it out and continue to uh, to work hard and do what you love and and just there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Kabi-kabilang pagbati mula sa mga sikat na personalidad ang natanggap ng Pinay Tennis Superstar. Ilan sa mga ito ay mula sa kanyang tennis idol na si Rafa Nadal, Manny Pacquiao at Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Mas naging malapit pa sa puso ng mga Pinoy ang panalo ni Iyala nang sa harap ng mga kababayan at dayuhan ay gumamit siya ng wikang Filipino sa kanyang victory speech. Unang-unang sa salamat pa salamat sa Well, I think that um, I didn't think that it would be such a big, <laughs> such a big thing. <laughs> But a lot of I've been getting a lot of positive feedback from that, um, and I guess it hit it hit a spot for the Filipinos because it's not a lot of the times that you hear Tagalog on a worldwide stage. So I guess I'm super happy of the impact it's had on on the Filipino people and I hope that um, it it meant something to them. Ilang taon nang namamalagi sa Espanya si Iyala, pero gaya ni Obiena na kamakailan ay umuwi sa bansa, may balak din ba si Iyala na pansamantalang magbalik bansa? I would love to go home. I would really love to go home. I think that especially my family deserves to to share this win with me and I just want to tell them about all of my matches, all the experiences that I've had. Um, but unfortunately, it's not so easy to schedule that. Of course, mahal yung biyahe and <laughs> Ola din ako masyadong oras because I'm I, I as you said I have a lot of tournaments 
and I think it's part of it's part of the journey and it's part of keeping my head down is that I am reminded that I still have to work and life still goes on even after a big win. Matapos ang tatlong magkakasunod na tournament nitong Oktubre, nagpapatuloy ang pagtaas ng WTA ranking ni Iyala na mula 248 ay 214th na. Pagsapit ng 2023, target ni Iyala na makalahok muli sa Southeast Asian Games at iba pang WTA tournaments.